Okay, so let's um, let's go through this. Um, what I want to do is I want to look at a point, and I want with that point to go through and um, show you three different um, the three different kinds of distances for very very simple objects. So I'm going to look at the distance between the point and another point, which I'm going to call the origin. Um, a line, um, and I'll call that line L, and a plane, and I'll call that plane P, P for plane, okay? And like I said, I want to find the distances. Uh, between the point and um, what did I say I wanted? I wanted A for the origin. Okay, so I'll call that D0. Um, B the line. And I'll call that DL. And the plane. And I'll call that DP. Okay. That, that look fair? Ah, it looks fair to me. It looks nice and simple. Okay, so um, for this we'll have to define a point. Um, and I'll call that 3 meters, 2 meters, 4 meters. Okay. Uh, this point was chosen purely on the basis of how small the numbers are. Yeah, right? Um, excuse me. So let's see, what have we got? We've got a line, we've got another, okay, I'll call these lines axes. This will be our y-axis, this will be our z-axis. We'll have a right-handed coordinate system, so that will be our x-axis there. And then we'll have an infi infinity of knot back there. Um, let's see, I want to draw this point. Um, and it's three, two, four. Okay, three is X. So, let's see, one, two, three. Okay, and two is Y. So one, two. So, sort of doing parallel line looking things. Not quite parallel because we want to do a little foreshortening. All right, so that's um, the projection there. Then we go straight up, four units. So one, two, three. One, two, three, four. So right there. Okay. And because of foreshortening, that looks like absolutely nothing but, you know, comes here. So let's, that's why we have, that's why I have this projection thing here in the first place, is so that hopefully, if I draw this, it'll look like something worth looking at. Okay, and that's my X. All right. And I want a line. Where should I put my line? A great place is minus three meters, y, and two meters. And you're saying, why, why? Well, why not y? So it has any old y I want it to have, right? So that means it's going to be um, going this way, right? Going left to right. Um, it's three meters back, one, two, three. Um, and two meters up, so one, two. And so let's do one of these things so we can see that there's something there. And then draw a nice line there and call it L. Let's do this. Yeah. So much more fun when you when it looks like you're prepared for something. Alright, so we got a right angle there, a right angle there, and everybody's happy. As long as we right, draw these little right angles, you start figuring things out for some reason. Um so I've got X, I've got L, and I need some plane. In my plane, I think I'll have it vary any way it wants to in the X-axis, but it'll be at minus three meters in the Y-axis. And um, I'll call this Z, so it can have any Z com component it wants as well. It needs two to be two dimensions. So you'll notice that zero dimensions, uh, we have no free parameters. A um, one-dimensional object, we have one. And um, a two-dimensional object, we have three. This is pretty cool, isn't it? Um, anyway, so we want to go one, two, three. Two-dimensional object, we have two. Um, 
So we have something perpendicular here. So it's coming out this way, coming out that way, and it looks planey, so it looks kind of like that, except it goes on forever, so it doesn't look like that at all. Um, so that's our plane there, P. So the whole, uh, whole deal here is I've got my little point right here, my vector point over here, and I want to figure out what the um, length of this vector is. Basically, the distance from the origin is, um, is the length of this vector. All right, I want to figure out what the um, length, the distance between here and here are, right, between my point and this line, right, and the distance um, up here, right, so this distance here. So it's going to be the shortest, the, basically the distance between any two objects is the shortest distance between um, any points on those objects, if that makes any sense. So, I mean, obviously, if this guy's a point, then um, the distance between this point and this um, plane um, doesn't have anything to do with this, because it only has one point. We can't vary it. But around here, we could have any old vector, right? Any old, any old distance, any old point. We have any old thing. So we have all of these different... Um, all of these different uh, positions on here, but the minimum position is right here, right, or excuse me, right here, where, where this point actually hits, right? And again here, we could have a line out to this point, to that point, to that point, but it's really this minimum position right here, we have that right angle. That right angle is actually an important part for something that's flat or straight. Um, gets more complicated with you when you get curvy things. Aren't you lucky you're taking an advanced math course? Maybe you'll get to some curvy things later. Right now we'll st stick with the flat things. Okay. Um, so, what, what have we got going on here? Let's just find some of these things. Yeah, right? So the distance zero is going to be um, the magnitude of x minus 0, because the origin is uh, the 0 vector. Isn't that nice? Which is really just the magnitude of x. And we've had a little um, practice with magnitudes already. So the magnitude of x is 3 meters squared plus 2 meters squared plus 4 meters squared. And like I said, I put no um, thought into this as to, you know, how nice the answer is going to look. So the answer is not going to look nice. We've got three, 9 meters squared plus um, 4 meters squared plus 16 square meters. Okay, we, I, I should um, be very careful about the way I'm saying those things, shouldn't I? Anyways, 9 plus 16 is 25, plus 4 is 29, and the square root of 29 meters squared is the square root of 29 meters. Um, so that's what we're stuck with. That's our um, d0. It's that distance. All right, so dl. Let, let's see what we do with dl. Mm, okay, so... What we want to do is we, we want uh, to have this closest point, right? Um, and because this line is along one of these um, principal axes, one of these principal coordinate axes, this is parallel to the y-axis, basically, um, the closest point is actually going to be when this y component is zero, or, or is the same as, as this. So the difference between these two is zero. So that y is equal to 2 meters. Um, so, in fact, in this case, um, well, you know, we could do something to prove that, if you like calculus. I know you love calculus, actually, so, I mean, maybe we should. But what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to say, okay, I have the difference between the x component of the x and the x component of the line, um, and I square that, and then I add the z component of the um, position vector and I subtract that from the z component of the line, and square that, and that's going to be my distance. All right, so that's um, 
what uh, three meters minus minus three meters squared plus four meters minus two meters squared okay so that's um, let's go ahead and move these down if I'm going to have to do it anyway I may as well do it now but we're done once we're done right um, then we have six meters squared plus um, two meters squared and six meters squared is 36 square meters see I told you language important plus um, two meters squared which is four square meters which ends up being the square root of 40 meters squared uh, we can take out a four right and turn it into a two so we have two square roots of 10 um, meters sounds pretty good to me um, we're um, pushing through right we're gonna get everything done we're gonna be happy um, we're going to make other people around us happy because we're so happy I mean that isn't that what math is all about um, okay so our plane um, in this case uh, again, the plane is in this XZ is in this XZ region, right? It's parallel to the XZ plane, so we really only have to care about this one component. So, in fact, that's going to be the absolute value of XY minus um, PY, right? And so that's going to be the absolute value of two meters minus minus three meters. So I didn't need the absolute value, but yeah, we used it anyway, so that's five meters. What could be more horrible? Um, and the reason why I gave you a couple of problems like this for today's homework is because in tomorrow, the next day, the next day after that, there are going to be a lot of um, problems with similar sorts of things. Find the plane for this. Find the distance between this funny-looking thing and this other funny-looking thing. Uh, stuff like that. So um, the nice thing about these problems is that they're easy to understand conceptually, right? So what's going on here and here, right? Like I said, the minimum distance between the plane and the line um, is zero because they meet. So obviously, um, so obviously that's one way to define our distance, right? Um, similarly, if you were to average the lines, this is infinite, it would still be zero, right? Um, so this guy, this guy, the average, the closest point is there, and this guy, the closest point is there. In fact, you could, and in fact, you can um, figure out, if you can figure out two perpendicular vectors here, any two perpendicular vectors, you can completely define this plane uh, knowing this point and how, how um, far it is in that direction. So, you know, those are the sorts of things you're going to be doing in the next couple of days, and I think it's going to be really, really fun. I know I have a lot of fun with it. Um, most of the problems are um, pretty easy, and so hopefully you'll be able to uh, hopefully you'll be able to use those to build up some confidence with your geometric in intuition. All right. Uh, well, it's been really nice talking to you, and I hope you tune in tomorrow for um, some more of this amazing fun. Bueno.